860 sitting and waiting. Yep. Our uh, audio should be on, so cool. they might comment about that. That's fine. <laughs> hey, everybody. Howdy. I'm going to wait till they tell us how I we're doing. I swear I'm on topic. Y'all are on this phone. I'm chatting with y'all here, 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 here. I'm doing, we doing Who's everything. saying push? <laughs> push. Okay. You move over. 860. Yep, here we go. Yep. Our uh, audio should be on, so. They might comment about that. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to wait for people to join before mm -hmm. I show you a very special thing. Um, in the meantime, we're going to open our Bark Box because we just got it, and I figure that's cute. So, Woo. can you scoot uh, like to the wall? Like this? No, to the to wall. This to the wall. window, to the wall. Man, that song's old. Keep going. I'm going. As far back as possible. That's as far as I can go. You that's... probably don't need those. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I still can't well, anyway. go back any farther. Last month was the 420 box, and we already went through that. And then before that was SpongeBob. This would be a sponsorship I would be very happy to. Yes. If someone have. <laughs> knows someone at BarkBox, we are long time loyal customers. <gasps> Fairy wow. tales and boop time stories. Oh boy. We're going to love these for a few minutes and then the dogs are going to obliterate okay. them. Once upon a playtime, a little dog named Elvis and their human, Reverend Fridays, found a magical box that could only be opened by how your dog opens her bark box. Their mom. Inside they found treats and... Other toys and treats so magical the little dog rolled over and showed his tummy. Because it's it's a mad lib. Okay. Unicorn. Aww. Oh wow, we got some <laughs> I want a unicorn. Hold on. <laughs> LV. Wow. My dad would love this. Two gnomes! LV, you want a mean gnome or a happy gnome? You know darn well who gets which one of them gnomes. Wow, he wants to chew up Marshall, apparently. What are they saying? Oh. Happy doggies, the tennis is so cute. You're correct. What is it? Um, what, what do you think this is? It looks like a toadstool. Like a mushroom. And then here's the last toy. I want everyone to know this. This is for Marshall because he's the better behaved animal. You get a magic wand, Marky. Elvis is literally just storing toys in a pile underneath. All Jerky bar, you want some? You want lamb? You want lamb? Jerky bar? <laughs> You're buying lamb with our money problems? That's probably ham, if we're being honest. Marshy. Mm. All right, treats for the children. <laughs> what else we got in there? This just treats. More treats. We literally don't buy treats because yeah. Bark Box has so many. They send you enough, man. Yeah, here's the... If you're like us and have a problem with spending $30 on dog treats every time you go to the grocery store, Bark Box helps with that. Can you put these somewhere where Marshall can't get them? Yeah. <laughs> and they can just snack on these? Yep. Well, and I have their jar, too. It's behind your head. We got a whole jar of treats for him. Oh yeah, speaking of the the extra toys, so we we I I bought the SpongeBob ones. They didn't come like the box wasn't SpongeBob. You had to buy special toys, and I got a big ass handsome Squidward that he won't even chew up. So it's nope. actually still intact. It's in pristine okay. condition. All right, kids, Peepee's in here. I think Marshall knows a collectible when he sees one. The hell was that? Did oh, you hear that? Yeah, somebody rumbling down the street. What is this? Cover my toes. It's barefoot Saturday. I'm barefoot today. Okay. Who's ready? Oh, man. I'm so... I'm about to shit myself. I'm so scared. This is wild, y'all. Okay. Y'all are not ready. I am so scared and anxious. I'm okay. coming in. Pop it in here. Okay. 1.3. All right. Can you hear my, my headphones? Yes, I sure can. Honey. That didn't even take long. That took less than five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all y'all here early got to see the good stuff. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. 
So I'll leave this here so I can chit chat. Now, now that it's been five minutes, you guys had an hour and five minutes to get here. I'm just kidding. Um, this was on short notice. So, if you are here watching, you are about to see an exclusive clip from the Duggar documentary, Shiny Happy People. Um, I had to kind of be a Karen. <laughs> I had to, like, beg for this footage. Um, so, if you don't know... The Duggar Shiny Happy People documentary is coming out June 2nd, um, and I sat for a long interview, and I'm in four episodes at least, um, but I was cut out of the trailer for whatever fucking reason. I guess God just thought I would be too powerful. I don't know. But my voice is in. I say uh, this is about more than just the Duggars. It's at the very end. So if you suspected that was me, it's true. Um, and so I screamed cried threw up to get this clip that i'm about to show you um feel free to share it on reddit or wherever because we need the promotion mm -hmm. um so yes i'm about to show it to you guys you don't rock your world <laughs> um so yeah this has been we went in december of 2021 yep they flew us out to atlanta and we filmed that at airbnb Really fucking cool experience. Like, um, the director, I never, if she's watching, I'm so embarrassed. I never know if it's Christ or Christ, but that's her name, Olivia Christ. Mm -hmm. Um, and she is a sweetheart. We've also been talking to Corey Stern, who's the, one of the producers. Um, and she's been kind of our advocates. Um, James is not in it because he wasn't on the channel at the time. Um, but he did sit on the other, the other <laughs> side of the room and he would advise me a little bit. Um, but yeah, not in the trailer, so that's why I haven't shared the trailer or talked about it, because I was a little, like, butthurt about it. But I have this now, so I will gladly talk about it. Um, and the funniest thing about all this was, this the week that we filmed this was the week that Josh got sentenced. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? Yes, it was. We were talking about it yep. in between takes. And it was so funny, because the day that he got, like, the trial was over, the regular trial... Mm -hmm. um, I was in a phone call with the director, so I couldn't hop out and react the second that it happened, and I really wanted to, and so finally I could talk about it. Um, but, yeah, I am so excited because if you've seen the trailer, it really does not do justice to this thing. This thing is huge. It's way more about IBLP and the survivors and the high control group situation. It's way more about that. They got all kinds of experts. Um, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to say, so I will just say that some of my favorite people are in this thing. One of my favorite authors of all time is in this thing. Um, and there's also some people in it that you would not expect. And I cannot tell you, but when it comes out, I will 100% talk shit with everybody. So uh, I'm just, if you, if you think, you I'm know, so excited. if you think, you know what they're going to cover in this, in this series, rest assured you do not. Um, I don't care how long you've been snarking on the Duggars. There is information that's going to be in this that, that you will want to hear. And, um, I just want to say how proud I am of you. Uh, Jen Jen carried all her info with her. You've been doing this no, for I years. No, I was like, I had notes and I was like rereading Jesus and John Wayne on the plane to Atlanta so, so that I could be like up to date with everything. Just prepping the whole time, prepping all the way up there. It mm. literally was a dream come true. When they, when they asked me, I thought it was like a joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and they were like, no, we want to fly you out. It like, was little old me. It was amazing. And you deserve it, honey. She's amazing, y'all. Y'all have no idea. She's, oh, they picked the right person. This is going to be so good. So if everybody's here, we got 1.6. I think um, we're ready to ride. After this, I'm going to post about it on TikTok and Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, feel free to share it because I want people to see, like, that the trailer did its job to get people talking. It showed mm -hmm. off all the it Duggars did, and whatnot. It did work. But <laughs> it didn't have me in it. So, <laughs> um, y'all know they made it better by going and getting the reverend. Y'all know that's what sets this apart from every other one of these documentaries. So, just so excited. So, I'm going to turn off our microphone so that we're not like, so that if anybody wants a clean cut of this, they can get it without our heavy breathing. 
Um, and then we'll <laughs> talk about it, and we might even play it a second time. Yeah. Um, so, here we go. Duggars became a beacon for the evangelical community, the fundamentalist community, and they finally saw themselves represented on TV. We had had Christian programming. Father, we just praise you. But never like this. I brought my ticket, and I'm getting it signed by all of them. They have good core values. We love them. My name is Jennifer Sutphin, and I run a YouTube channel called Fundy Fridays, where I do my makeup while discussing Christian fundamentalism. A fundy is kind of a derogative term for a fundamentalist, and it's the entire starting point for the fundy snark community, which is the camp that I fall into, like the hate watchers. The show has devolved more and more into just straight propaganda as time has gone on. But the Duggar show is just so insanely popular that they doubled down and they started making a bunch of other shows just like it about Christian fundamentalist families. All right, so what do you guys think? I also was excited because my hair is my hair is obviously a time capsule for you know various parts of my life, and so I was wondering if anybody would be like, "Oh my God, that's the hair that Jen had in in twenty twenty one because I did, and I literally bleached it like the night before we went, almost lost my hair. I used peroxide as developer. I told my hairdresser that, and she was like shocked and appalled um so yeah that was that was exciting <laughs> <laughs> i'd say there's not a lot of questions everybody's just telling you how amazing this is and how excited they are you we knew this crowd would understand the magnitude of this and i think it just speaks to how great the production team on this documentary was they found jen really early and uh, i think they knew they found someone special yeah and... i'm so and i'm just so <laughs> working with um, Olivia and Corey, holy shit, they're just amazing. They are unbelievable people. Uh, yeah, and they're girl bosses. So oh. just so you know, this is a hashtag feminist production. <laughs> Super fucking. They're excited. popping bottles. They're oh, we got. Thank you, tea, tea overflow. overflow. Hey. Yeah. Well, I just really wanted to let you guys know because I know there's been a lot of like speculation and like, is this gonna be like a tabloid thing? No, this is the real deal. This is going. I'm calling it now. I'm manifesting. We're gonna. We're the the creators are gonna get awards. Like this is a huge deal. They are platforming so many survivors yep. who finally get to tell their stories about this horrific like man. I don't even want to call him that. They're taking Bill Gothard. Th like they are taking him down, and they got all kinds of lawyers. So don't even worry. <laughs> They're going straight to the top. They like, are. They are. They are not playing around with the the Duggars and all the kids and all that stuff. You know that all the other ones get caught up in. They're going straight to the head of the snake. And, and I had no really idea cool to see. that the Holtz or the Duggars were going to be in this because mm -hmm. I asked too. <laughs> I was nosy as they fuck. They were professional. They and I tell asked, us and they would not tell us. So, no idea what their interviews are going to be like. Um, I'm assuming they're going to go hard on them because yep. this is not a documentary that's painting a good light of the Duggars. I, but it is interesting because it's a time capsule. My hair, I mean, Jill's pregnant in the documentary. I remember. We so were like, sitting, fun little backstage thing. We were sitting in the hotel room after you'd filmed one day, and we were talking. And we. Were, I remember. Are just, you going to reveal it a secret? Oh, no. Okay. I don't think so. It was in the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, we just joked to each other. We're like, well, it's not like, you know, they got Jill or anything. Like, you know. Obviously, they didn't get Jill. Who's the first person we see in the trailer? Jill. These people are better than we ever realized. They're Do so they good at this. Do they discuss the pearls? Um, I, I there's know. a clip of Michael Pearl in the trailer, plus I talked about the pearls, so I'm assuming they're going to use that. I talked about everything. I talked about white supremacy. Like, I, they better, they better keep that in. <laughs> Yeah, I just really was excited. 
Jill, somebody said Jill is your coworker now, and I told Jen that's the thing I think is the coolest. Right. Thing. With this, with this, this thing coming out, Jen, give me her number. The Reverend Jen has permanently. I joked it's like Bender on Futurama when he knocked his face into that wall, but. My baby carved her place in the Duggar story. You've been following him for a decade now, and now you're part of it. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm like that's wild. This is a big. Hopefully, deal. I'll I'll have an entrance on the Duggar Wikipedia. That's you all better. I can ever ask. You better. Oh, who's that? Lola Link. Thank you, Lola Link. With the rainbow hitting every one of the heart emojis. That's not easy. You got to do this move. Y'all are just so cool. Yeah, everybody's just being nice. Oh. All, we haven't. We actually don't know yet about like how they're gonna put the episodes. I out. think they're putting oh. it all out at once. Oh, that's what I've heard. But I hadn't that's heard wrong. anything definitive. Um, Car Carolyn Lewis, thank you. I, I don't know. What's up? I don't know what to, that says, but yeah, thank you, Carolyn Lewis. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be a huge deal. This is gonna. I don't know. Like, I've been saying for a while that this huge wave is coming of deconstructors, yep. ex-evangelicals, people who are tired of being quiet about it, and finally we can platform them. Yep. This, the people who made this, um, I know I've seen Brittany some people. Brittany Alicia, thank you. Thank you, Brittany Alicia. I know some people talking about they don't like, you know, this like don't want to support Amazon, the big corporations. I'm going to tell you right now, the people who are on the ground making this, they care. They knew what was going on and they did their homework and then they redid it again to make sure it was right. These people really put the time in. So, um, I know the complicated feelings around Shannon it, but this MC, is hard work giving you. your time to. Let me tell you. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Shannon. Wait, I mean, we can oh. I just got crazy time yeah dude you're i would my brain would fall apart too i'm surprised you doesn't fall apart 10 i'm gonna post later. this stuff right now <laughs> i have tiktok and instagram open mm -hmm. i'm keeping an eye on the comments everybody just saying such nice things i'm literally looking for question marks <laughs> um yeah i don't know any like behind the scenes production just secrets. join what uh they oh i they, it was catered by chick-fil-a which I thought was funny. Brittany, gift and memberships. Nitro Fairy Wing wants you to get your own show. Thank you. I agree. Oh my God. Can you imagine like Jen visits religious oddities? Because you're respectful. You'd be able to talk to people, but still be like, hey, eh, it's a little out there. You know what I mean? Somebody, people are asking about like collabing with people in the um, trailer. We have a like a big WhatsApp group, like all the people that are in it. And um, they all seem very eager to work together so i don't see why we couldn't it is going to be on prime somebody asked yes it's a prime exclusive yeah we're hoping min tea and salty cucumber salty. thank you oh man y'all are wow y'all are going crazy very slay Dev, i Dev agree Keith. from the cucumber how stoned was james during the last case if i read not surprisingly as... not stoned at all his allergies are fucked up this season so anybody his eyes are red i have been trying to be supportive all while in what i described to friends earlier as a low-grade allergy attack for like collab with kelly joe and michelle yeah give me once again give me 10 minutes with reach annie out. duggar reach out that's all we ask we just want to know you're interested because they should know we're interested when does it release june 2nd um they i've heard at midnight so mm -hmm. if i don't know more than that yeah. um because yeah we, we're still like two weeks out so yeah. oh. but i'm gonna watch it i'm gonna try to set something up some sort of stream but i gotta i have to like clear that with amazon they have a whole thank you Carolee. social media team so um you know Oh, thank you, Sushia. Oh, my God. Thank you, um, Sushia. Kara says we'll be discussing other fundamentalist groups. Um, How long is it? I think it's four or five. I did not get a straight answer on that. Four I think this episodes. one centers kind of just around IBLP and the Duggars. I don't know how far it goes out. We haven't seen it. Um, but certainly there are other groups in I know orbit. that I we're going to talk about on. the modern internet people. That's all I'm going to say about that. The, the equal and opposite reaction as I like to call it. <laughs> Was there any point during the interview you felt out of place? No, they, they were so professional. They, I mean, I'm not trying to brag, but they love me. So, yeah. Yeah, it was it was an amazing experience. It really was. I want to tell everyone. And was... Olivia was extremely researched. Like she knew more than I did. 
Well, I want to talk a little bit. They'll think this is cute. So we're, you know, we didn't know, we don't do none of this. And that was the first time we'd ever worked on a project like this. And we knew they had a set designer, but we didn't know what that meant or what they did. Well, we get out oh, there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They set up the whole little area. With Made it all cute for her, me, my aesthetic. Her aesthetic, her colors. They had clearly, like, gone through the channel. And the thing that got me was they even had a pillow with, like, the phases of the moon. And we had that exact same one at home. They didn't know that. So that tells you like the professionalism. They didn't they didn't tell us they were doing that. It was just set up when we got there and it already looked so much like her, she might as well have done it herself. They're asking um if there's anything that we didn't get to talk about. I can't remember because it's been two years. I only sat for four hours and they had to get me out of there for somebody else. I wonder if it was a freaking dugger. Um uh, <laughs> but like we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about IBLP, Bill Gother, the Duggers, we talked about the Bates. We talked about like the p politics of it. Um, uh -huh. I think also at that time, because you got to remember, this was eighteen months ago. The channel was in a very different. I spot. know that I I go off about Josh and yes. his crimes. I remember I got to like full speed. I get to like say he was arrested on blah yeah. blah blah, and he got this charge, and uh, yeah. But I know, I think at the time, part of it was just, man, we were happy to be there. That was back, to give you all an idea, I was still working, I was doing HR um, for a place in my town, and I want to shout out my two bosses, Shauna and Debbie, who moved heaven and earth to give me the vacation time that I could go with her. Um, but yeah, that that's was, the other I thing. Was still working, I was still working for the man back then. Now um, I'm, I want to play the trailer once, I'm going to play the trailer when we leave one yeah. more time. Yeah, that sounds good. Did I miss anybody? Carolyn Lewis said crumb. Shauna L. Soli, Suli rhymes with Julie. Tossing out three, no, member for three months. Excellent. I'm still learning how to read these. The important I don't know I how gifting memberships works, but thank you for that. Please because tell me it they, sounds nice. I don't, we don't know who they did or didn't include. What I will say is the people who worked on this did their research and they knew the they got they should be going some big to. people for this. Let me tell you that. This is going to be huge. This is going to change the, the conversation. Like, this is a big fucking deal. Yeah. I am so proud and grateful and blessed that I get to be a part of this thing. Like, it's just incredible. Um, but they know and I know that you were the But right something I was thinking about was uh, how did I manage to keep it a secret? Not easily. Let's just say, Let say right now. people in my personal life knew. Yeah. Um, Brady both, Ford. Um, both of our therapists, because we knew they could. Oh, yeah. Both like of our therapists heard everything about yep. this. Our the, therapists know everything. Um, as for, like, I did just realize, like, if there's anything that was left out, I'm sure. Thank you, Brady. I, I haven't seen it, which I'm like, damn, give me a screener. Um, I'm, I haven't Love seen it, so, so I don't know how if they like do like an addendum with like a like new information but i know since this was just when he got like he was found guilty yeah this was before the sentencing this was which i believe pre, was the next summer right it was it was after the decision but before the sentencing so like and there the was sentencing took several months and got uh, now they're not going to include the most recent stuff but i feel like josh's arrest was kind of like how much better can you wrap this up you know Everybody thanking Michelle. I mean, honestly, honestly, the Duggars kind of put up, put us on this whole pathway. So yeah, I got to admit, thanks y'all. Uh, there it is. Hi. Yeah, because I mean, I think it's hilarious that they got the Holtz and then the new shit about this. The Holtz stuff came out. Oh, okay. So they have a thing turned on, and then the the gifted memberships are randomly given to people. Oh, that's really cool. Cute. So it's Thank got you, anybody's Nixie got the Nax. So you're you're. Doing oh, I more doubt they got Anna, Anna for this, but cool. if they do, I will. Cool name. Freak out. Wait, what'd you say? They're asking about Anna. Oh, I I can't imagine, but I I say that though. I said we were in that hotel room going. Well, we know they didn't get Jill. That's a bridge too far. Right. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> Whoops. So funny. Yeah, she is, isn't she, Paige? It's incredible, and we've been known about this for a while, so we were real curious to see how it played out. It's it's gone as well as we could have asked for. Trailer notwithstanding, I guess I but should tag it gets the point across. Chick entertainment. <laughs> but this is going to be such a cool moment. I really think, like, Jen and I have talked, I mean, obviously we're extremely privileged to get to do what we do because of you all and to, to get to dig into this stuff full time. Thank you, Taylor Ann. We are proud to have you. Hold on. I got... No. 
I don't want to ban... Uh, Y'all are talking so fast, I can't hit the buttons! Yeah. We probably need to hop off on this because I want to keep it short so Angelica can transcribe it. We yeah. love you, Angelica. <laughs> but I'm serious. I think Jen and I talk a lot about it. We, you know, we feel like the Fundy Stark world is a big movement that's getting bigger and it's really it's something different than anything we've seen before. I think we're really challenging conservative fundamentalist religion in this country more than we ever have and I think this movement's going to be a or this this documentary is going to be a big part in the movement. I think it's going to be a touchstone moment. So, I would encourage you to watch it as soon as you can after it comes out cuz I think it's kind of being a part of history, part of something really important. Fund evangelical religion's a big deal in the US and and this is saying something very important about that on a big platform, probably the biggest platform this message has ever gotten. So um, be a part of it. Uh, you'll be able to tell, you know, whatever kids you meet, whether they're yours or not, down yeah, on the I'm line. Yeah, I also, but sorry, I mean, thank you guys for saying you're proud of me. I'm really fucking proud of yes. all the brave individuals who came forward for this thing because they're they right. could not done it without them. Like I, like I said, we have a WhatsApp chat, and they're they're finally getting to have their day in the sun, and I'm so proud of them. We're proud to be curators, but. We acknowledge there are people who have lived through this very directly in a way we have not. Their story should always come first, and I think this this film does that. Um, so yeah, yeah. this is going to be everyone involved in this should be proud. Monumental is not enough to say how uh, big this is going to be. Say I, I y'all have no idea. So excited! It's like being married to a rocket that's flying to the moon. Dude, oh, imagine how on. it feels to be me. I'm losing my fucking marbles. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Yeah, but you still... Mm, you are something special, huh? Ugh. Okay, y'all. Um, we're going to play it one more time, and then we're going to end the stream. Yep. If you didn't uh, see it Feel free time. to share it wherever, because mm -hmm. we... Like, I want this thing to be worldwide. Well, I can't... Emily Adams. Happy 30th birthday! Oh, thank you. Oh, happy, and thank you, you and happy birthday. They said you helped them get through uh, some tough times while they were deprogramming. That's so we sweet. We say it all the time. That's the thing that drives us the most insane. When people are telling us how we helped in that process or helped start that process, that's all we ever want to do is just get you out. Yeah. I love you guys and I will definitely be around. Um, we're not making a video next Friday. The What would that be? The 27th? Sixth. 26th um because i figure we put out three videos this week so uh yeah um and um if i i'll see about like a q a or something we'll see because like i said we're you should have seen the nda that they sent me yeah they, that thing was ironclad they don't get big like this without <laughs> protecting their stuff i get yeah. it so um i will talk to you all soon and we're gonna play the trailer one more time and then we're gonna go out I love you guys. Yeah, take it. Thanks for being here with us. The Duggars became a beacon for the evangelical community, the fundamentalist community, and they finally saw themselves represented on TV. We had had Christian programming. Father, we just praise you. But never like this. I brought my ticket, and I'm getting it signed by all of them. They, yeah, they have good core values. Yeah. My name is Jennifer Sutphin, and I run a YouTube channel called Fundy Fridays, where I do my makeup while discussing Christian fundamentalism. A fundy is kind of a derogative term for a fundamentalist, and it's the entire starting point for the fundy snark community, which is the camp that I fall into, like the hate watchers. The show has devolved more and more into just straight propaganda as time has gone on. But the Duggar show is just so insanely popular that they doubled down and they started making a bunch of other shows just like it about Christian fundamentalist families. Yeah,